There's an easy and high-tech way for seniors to stay safe when living alone. Our tech specialist, Jerry Seregni, joins us now to talk about this new technology. So what is this and how does it work? Okay. We've all seen the commercial where the elderly lady falls and mm -hmm. can't get up. And usually mm -hmm. that's to promote a system that says you should wear a pendant. And mm -hmm. if you have trouble, press the button and you'll get mm -hmm. help. But uh, this is a system by a company called Be Close, who has studies that show that a system that based on this kind of thing isn't necessarily effective because the mishap may happen when the person isn't wearing the pendant or they may not be capable of pressing the button. They may actually be unconscious or worse, if they do it too often, they may be reluctant to have the EMT and police mm -hmm. uh, coming to the house. So Be Close has a different uh, kind of a concept. First of all, it's a, it's a, a, mon a passive monitoring system. In other words, Basically, it, it's a system that uses sensors, motion detectors, mm -hmm. door sensors. This is a bed pressure sensor. This is a mm -hmm. chair pressure that are all wireless, that all have batteries in them that last anywhere from two to four years that connect wirelessly to this base station. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting thing about the base station is the base station uses a cellular phone connection. A lot of times you see these systems, they require that you install a second phone line or they might interfere with the phone line. This basically is totally independent. It, the sensors are wireless and the monitoring system is wireless, so it doesn't interfere. So how does it help a senior there? Like, what, what's the goal? Well, ba good, good, great question. Basically what it does is it, 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 using artificial intelligence, it compiles information about their routine. In other words, this lets you know whether the person is in bed and when they get up. This lets you know when they sit in their favorite chair, when they get mm -hmm. up. This lets you know if they go in the medicine cabinet, if they go out the front door to go to, to church or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And this generally lets you know whether they're moving around the apartment or their house. So is it, this would be placed in the bed, near the bed? At, underneath the mattress, underneath actually. The mattress. This would be underneath the cushion of their favorite chair. Okay. This is a panic button that you could put just someplace where if they need help, they can mm -hmm. press this. Mm -hmm. And basically, I have on the screen here, and also on the scan converter, it produces a report that you can go through and let you know at a glance how they're doing. In other words, basically, if they're, uh, uh, how their uh, uh, routine is going. So if you look here, and, and it's got thresholds as well. So if they don't move, if there's no movement in the house or the apartment for so many hours, mm -hmm. it'll send you a text message, it'll send you an email, it'll send you a phone call. So you can more or less monitor and see you know, this is, Aunt Tilly is not doing what she's normally doing, mm -hmm. or, or if something drastic happens, it can let you know. Now, if there is an emergency, if, the, if, she, if she does press this, mm -hmm. or she does press the button, mm -hmm. the operator can, you see is there's a speaker. Is that a 911 operator? Well, there is actually a private operator, a monitoring okay. operator that can, you see the speaker and a, and a, right. and a thing, so you they can, can communicate, say, okay. are you okay? Right. Let me get, the only, it sounds great, the only thing I have to say, it's a little, in my book, it's a little expensive, What's but the price tag? again, the basic system, when you say a basic system mm -hmm. with three sensors and the monitoring unit is $299 mm -hmm. plus there's a monitoring fee. If you go on a month to month basis, it's $80 a month. If you mm -hmm. sign up for a year, it's $49 a month. There's lots of additional sensors. They're 75 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. There's even one that goes in the bathtub to let mm -hmm. you know whether the, the person is bathing regularly. Right. There's smoke sensors. What, what it won't do, though, it doesn't provide a way of, of video surveillance. You mm -hmm. can't use it to see what's going on. Maybe so that's next. That's, well, <laughs> that's a privacy aspect, or yeah. you can't listen in. But again, what it's based on is after two weeks, it compiles a database that you see on screen mm -hmm. of the person's routine so you can just see how, what time is she getting up? What time is she going to bed? What time is he getting up? Right. Are they leaving? Are they leaving? Uh, you, there is no system, there's no uh, a, a sensor for, to make them take their medicine. But you can, for example, put this on the medicine cabinet and you say, right. okay, he didn't open his medicine cabinet, hasn't mm -hmm. opened his medicine cabinet in five days. Let me call him and see if he's taking his medication. Anyway, it's an interesting concept. It's mm -hmm. not really uh, something that's covered by insurance as yet, but it is first class engineering and quality, which is why the cost maybe is a little bit high. But again, if you have a loved one and, you, and you're working and you wanna just have a way to, to monitor them discreetly, mm -hmm. let the, with, and again, not rely on something where they have to right. consciously do something, be Close is the company, BeClose.com, and it's pretty interesting. Yeah. And if you have maybe a, a lot of kids, you can all chip in and, and, and do it for Grandma or Grandpa. That's okay. certainly. One idea that's, there. That's an idea. Thanks a lot, Jerry.